Hey YouTube, so it's Melissa here from Andrew and Melissa O. And basically, I am gonna do, I'm gonna be talking about a life tip today that has been helping me. I don't know if anyone else, I'm sure actually more people than not people struggle with this, but I completely struggle with procrastination. That is one of the things that I struggled with literally my entire life. I was one of those people who was in college, you know, you have your syllabus and you have your assignments that are due in certain dates. And I literally, every single time, would wait to the last moment to write my essay and then be like completely stressed out, pulling all nighters and just like finishing up my assignments. I would always do that. And I did that in high school. And it's just something that I've struggled with a lot growing up. So, um, actually, I'm currently in the middle of studying for an exam to get a certification, and I've honestly been really procrastinating. I signed up for the course in May, like late May, and my exam is September 28th. Today is September 1st, and I have yet to finish the textbook. At least I'm like halfway through, which is a good thing, but I decided what would help me is to literally schedule out every moment of my day. And so today, September 1st, is the first day that I'm accomplishing this. And it's been going pretty well. I'm pretty much on schedule, which is really great. And I've been feeling super, super productive and I've been accomplishing so much today. So anyway, I had this idea from Andrew because he's taking this course and they were saying it's really good to have schedules. and. I actually worked for a chiropractor years ago and they always talked about how important it is to have a schedule and have it like literally scheduled out every single moment of the day because with when you do that then you actually have more freedom in those times when you have scheduled free time instead of being like oh my god like oh my gosh I didn't do this I, I need to do this. Oh, I need to do that. Why didn't I do that? Oh my gosh, I need to buy these groceries. Oh my gosh, I need to do this. So I literally just created a schedule. It's kind of a rush draft, but I'm kind of going with it uh, for today and the next few days to see how it goes and I might tweak it. And also I do know I need to tweak some of it um, for the first weekend of September because we actually are going away to visit my sister who's in a musical in Rochester, so I'm super, super excited to see that. Her name is Rocky Vega. She's in Hair. Um, so that's gonna be really, really fun to see. We're gonna go to the opening night and see her. But anyway, <clears throat> so I created this schedule and I can show you guys. It's actually like hanging right here so that I can see it. I've literally stayed, I like woke up this morning, made the bed, we did our breathing, we did our gratitude, and uh, I've kind of just been staying up here and have like everything all over. I have my index cards out, I have my papers over here. So anyway, um, yeah, I can show you my schedule. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it, but. Sorry, it's taped on our shelf. Okay. So like literally, I don't know, this will focus. So it's literally planned out like all the times. If you can see that, like, you see this? Wow. Wow. All the way to like bedtime. So basically the first thing is we wake up at five in the morning and I mean I created a schedule for myself and Andrew has his own schedule which I'm I'm not sure if he's like super super following it yet but I know he created his own schedule but we're kind of on the same wavelength here because I'm like, oh my gosh, it's four o'clock, I'm doing this. And he's like, oh, that's what you're doing? Okay, cool, I'm gonna be doing this. So we've kind of, we're sort of seeing how it's working. But today is the first day that we're implementing this into our life and it's going really, really well, which is really awesome. But anyway, so it's like super easy. Like I have like five in the morning uh, till 5.45. We do morning meditation and gratitudes. Then we brush our teeth for 15 minutes and then Today was Saturday, so I did an oil treatment in my hair, and by the way, my hair is looking pretty good, I think, you know? It always, like, doesn't, it's like, sometimes it loses its volume, but it's actually, it's like, looking pretty good. And also, I gave it a trim yesterday, so that might be helping. But anyway, so, 
I took my shower because you can't like just have oil in your hair all the time. It's not a very good look. But then we went for a bike ride. I've been studying for my exam and I'm actually working on a special project right now. So we did that for an hour and I put journaling and reading in there and more studying. And I actually even put time for Instagram so that that could be browsing other people's Instagram, posting, commenting, also posting things on our Instagram, making like a little like Insta story or whatever. I mean, we did a few Insta stories early in the day too, but I just kind of allotted a time where I just am on Instagram so that I'm not like literally on Instagram the entire day or just being like, oh, well, I'm gonna go on Instagram. Like, no, there's an hour that I have dedicated to like, I can be on Instagram, I can research things about Instagram, I can create things for our Instagram page. So um, I did some of that today. And then um, Andrew actually has been doing, well, I guess, well, Andrew, he had signed up to be a high ticket closer through Dan Locke. And so I am supporting him in that. So I'm learning more about what he's doing and what that entails. So I actually put that in my schedule to educate myself to what he's doing so that I can support him better as his wife and for him to like have moral and emotional support so that I can understand what he's trying to accomplish so that we could be a better team. So I actually put that in my schedule just to help him do what he needs to do or just learn about the things that he's doing to change his thinking so that I can also change my thinking so that we can be on the same wavelength so that we can better communicate with each other and just have a better relationship. And then I'm actually wanting to try one meal a day, the OMAD diet, like the OMAD diet, I think it's what it's called, O-M-A-D. Um, I've heard a little bit about it and I've kind of come across it, but I'm just kind of experimenting with it to see how it goes. I actually was super, super, super hungry earlier after our, our bike ride and doing things in the morning, but I did have some fruit, some papaya around like 9.30 I think it was, so I didn't do the two hour window that I wanted to today, but you know, it's my first time trying this and I haven't really done too much research, but I'm just trying to find a balance because I did the the master fast system fast for 108 days and I don't, wow, that was really great for me at the time and I felt super, super good after doing that. I don't want to continuously fast, but I do want to have fasting somehow in my life. I'm, I just haven't been able to find a balance right yet, so I want to just check this out and see how it goes. You know, I know there's a lot of people who have different opinions and different feelings about things, but I am just want to experiment on my body and see how I feel. So I want to try that, and tomorrow I want to be a little bit more stick, um, stay more strict to the schedule for that. And then I have like an hour where I dedicate to YouTube. So right now I'm actually in that hour. So I'm making a YouTube video and I eventually I'll help edit videos with Andrew and do other stuff for our YouTube channel. And then, you know, I have studying and more Danlock stuff. And then I scheduled like two hours before we go to bed where it's just Andrew and me where we have time to connect with each other, not that we're not talking throughout the day, but it's more like just being with each other where we don't think about all the stuff that we have to do or haven't done or anything like that. It's just like time for us to connect and really pay attention to each other because I feel like that's what most relationships lack to have like the attention that they, they want and need from their partner. So we're doing that the two hours before bed. And that also could include like maybe going to the grocery store really quickly, getting some things that we need for tomorrow. So we might actually be doing that tonight, but we're gonna be like together and it's like our time together. I also like haven't scheduled in like grocery shop days yet because I didn't really think about it and I was trying to put it together and just like really wanted to get it going because I really need to study for this exam because I've been so slacking. But anyway, we have that and then we have our teeth routine and then I have like what day I do my hair oil. So it's like super, super, super specific. I still have some things I need to tweak on the schedule, but for now it's working really, really well. And you know, I can maybe, I don't know if you're interested, maybe I can upload what my schedule looks like so that you can take a look and you can maybe create a schedule for yourself. Um, 
I don't know if anyone's interested in that, but if you are, comment below. And if you like more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and also subscribe to our channel because then you'll get notifications when we post new videos. I hope this was helpful. It's been super helpful for me and I'm just gonna document my journey throughout the month of September to see how well it works for me to stick to this schedule. And yeah, I'll keep you posted. See you next time, okay? Love you.